Imagine a creator so cringe and controversial that entire careers have been made off of criticizing them. That's basically that vegan teacher in a nutshell. I'm going to assume that most of you guys know who that vegan teacher is, but if you don't, here's a quick rundown. That vegan teacher started off on TikTok where she would make videos promoting a vegan ideology, and she would do this by stitching popular creators' TikToks and saying that they have to go vegan or else that makes them a bad person. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. Kind of going out and recruiting famous people, asking them if they want to be vegan via TikTok. But it wasn't some polite, like, hey, I like this guy, he should be vegan. It was literally like, eat your vegetables or you will see Satan. And throughout her career, she just gradually became more and more unhinged. It's actually insane. Like, this lady basically turned from this moderate, like, oh yeah, hey, I'm gonna be on TikTok and tell people they should be vegan and here's why, to comparing eating meat to the Holocaust, using the N-word to promote veganism and writing a song about George Floyd. I'm not joking. This is all real. Now, most of you probably already knew that, so it's no surprise, but if you didn't know that, there's so much more lore I haven't divulged yet, and we're probably gonna touch on it, but either way, I wanted to make this video because it's been so long since I have heard about the vegan teacher or talked about the vegan teacher, and it just so happens that a video I made talking about the vegan teacher was the biggest video and is still the biggest video on my channel, so hey, I mean, if YouTube wants to bless me up with a quick million views, please, I'll gladly take it. Please, please, just one video blow up, please. Oh, uh, sorry, did I scare you? I, I don't mean to scare you guys away. Let me be, uh, I'll be relatable. Uh, load taper fade. Anyway, so if we go to that vegan teacher's YouTube channel, we find that her channel description says fighting racism, homophobia, and vegan phobia. Oh, you thought you was slick? Yeah, vegan phobia, obviously a very recognized problem. Stop discrimination against vegans. Oh yeah, dude, vegans are really oppressed. It's not like there's vegan options at most restaurants and a vegan option on Uber Eats. Can someone tell me what a vegan phobic slur is? Because I feel like in order to be like super oppressed, you gotta have a slur against you, right? Because how can you even tell if someone's vegan phobic? Like I feel like a good way to tell if someone's racist is if they go up to a black person and call them hey, the n-word. Is someone vegan phobic just if they eat meat? Like does that mean that I hate vegans because I personally eat protein or uh, chicken I should say? Dude, vegans love that. Like when you say, oh I love protein, so I'm gonna eat chicken and beef and then they just spaz out because that's like their favorite thing to respond to. They're like, well, well you can get protein from soy beans? You can get the same amount of protein from this disgusting block of tofu. Why aren't you chowing down? You, you not hungry? Like, you know, they're killing animals. Have this literal slop block. No, I'll pass. Double it and give it to the next vegan. Anyway, so that vegan teacher recently made a video calling out Ryan Trahan, who is a very popular YouTuber, because he committed the cardinal sin of eating McDonald's. So the video is titled, Snobby Rich YouTuber Promotes McDonald's Cruelty, and we're gonna watch it today and just dive into the madness, okay? This person, the vegan teacher, is delusional. And I, I genuinely mean it. Like, like, the fact that she thinks that Ryan Trahan is abusing animals because he had a chicken nugget is insane. Anyways, before we get into it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it, and let's do it. Eating animals is wrong, Ryan Trahan. Hurting animals is wrong, Ryan Trahan. Share this song and change your entire channel to be vegan from now on. Never in my life did I think I would be jealous of the deaf. Wow, what a crazy feeling I'm feeling right now. Like, you gotta imagine at least one deaf person was watching this video and didn't have to hear that. Now let's do a genius breakdown of the lyrics here. Eating animals is wrong, Ryan Trahan. Eating animals is wrong, Ryan Trahan. All right, all right, all right. Let me stop you right there. When did eating animals become wrong? Like, was it wrong back when we had to hunt them for survival? Or is it just wrong now because of, like, it being in the form of a McNugget? Like, I don't really understand. That seems kind of arbitrary. You know, vegans decided to start popping up much later on in human history. Meanwhile, like, us meat eaters have been doing so for thousands of years. And that's fine. We're cool with that. But don't pull up to my party and tell me what kind of music to play. Some of these crazy vegans, man, they just, you know, they find this diet and then they act like anyone who doesn't eat like them is fucking evil. Hurting animals is wrong, Ryan Trahan. Share this song and change your entire channel to be vegan from now on. You guys also gotta keep in mind that the vegan teacher makes these videos with the goal of getting every YouTuber she talks about to literally dedicate their entire channel to promoting veganism. Not just that they should go vegan, but they should just switch their content from whatever they're posting, which is making them their living, but to switch their entire channel to be a vegan channel. Like, who the fuck's doing that? Hello, students! 
students, welcome to class. I'm oh, Miss Oh hell Katie, no, I'm dropping this teacher. class, bro. And today we're going to be looking at this channel by this Why guy is who South is Park on the going screen? to be going to McDonald's, like, Taco Bell, what? and I don't know, Starbucks, something like that, Wendy's, I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to it, but you know what we need to do. We need to go and visit these people and call them out for the animal abuse that they're taking part in. Okay, still no idea why South Park is on the screen. Second of all, do we have to visit Ryan Trahan and reprimand him for eating a nugget? Again, I don't think it's that deep. Also, I don't know if that vegan teacher picks out her targets for the videos or if they're like handed to her by like the spinach overlord vegan gods or whatever. But she needs to stop going after these nice guy creators. Like she she called out Mr. Beast with one of her biggest hits. She's calling out Ryan Trahan, who's a good guy. Why don't you call out like bad people that are also not vegan? So you can be like, notice a pattern here. Look at all these bad people and they're not vegan. They all have that in common. So are you guys ready? Here we go. Let's do this. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. Did somebody drug me? This feels like I'm tweaking. It feels like I'm tripping right now. This intro is insane. And this weird ass cow you have on the screen right now staring into my soul does not make me want to be vegan. Like, do not spare this cow. Matter of fact, specifically, I want him slaughtered for steak. And the song sounds like it's from a horror movie, but the specific part of the horror movie where you are about to die in the most horrific and weird way possible. Let's go and see his channel. But before we do, I want to remind you to subscribe and press the notification bell. Why? Because you were actually born vegan. You never wanted to hurt animals. And you can return to your roots and be vegan again. Okay, I just want to note real quick to the audience, this is the third intro to the video. We had the first one, eating animals is wrong, Ryan Trahan. Then we have the uh, drink oat milk, soy milk, and now we have this shit. Start the video or just end it. I don't have all day, okay? Please, I have to go protect Gotham City. You know, the Joker is out there. I believe that whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you stranger. Like, dude, that guy's rampant, and I need to kill him. Well, today I'm holding a contest with all the drive throughs in my city to see who wins the bag award. I made this trophy. It's, I worked hard on it, so. Sure. Here are the rules. One, it has to be a single item. Two, I can't okay. tell the employees what the current record is. Uh, uh, why are you doing this? What is the point? Three, the item cannot have any vegetable- What? Why on earth would you be trying to teach a bunch of young, impressionable people not to eat veggies? Yo, this is actually nuts. No, he's not saying to young people not to eat veggies. He's saying, hey, in this specific challenge that I made up myself, I'm not allowed to eat veggies. From the way she describes Ryan Trahan, you would think Ryan Trahan is the top donor to the anti-vegan church or whatever, and he like gives speeches there like on the side. Every Sunday he pulls up and he's like, all right, listen, ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, do not eat your vegetables no matter what. Like, no on it mostly because i'm scared of them it has oh sure that's just great that's just great scared of vegetables nothing to do with the challenge and at the end of this video i'm gonna try to beat williams world record let's go to the first drive why why don't you do something good with your life why don't you go out there and try some different vegan food restaurants why on earth are you doing this everyone does the same shit over and over again because vegan restaurants suck like i'm not even trying to be mean like ultimately if you want to be a vegan one thing you have to realize is that you're gonna have to be eating at shitty restaurants now that's the thing too these vegan extremists literally won't even eat at a restaurant that serves meat like they won't even walk into an establishment where they can get a vegan option people like that vegan teacher who are literal extremists need to go to vegan only restaurants and those places just so have happen to serve the worst food ever. Like, no, I'm not walking in there, bro. Why did Ryan Trahan not eat vegan options? Well, for the same reason he didn't eat poop. Because it tastes bad. And we got the music. I'm actually very nervous. I don't know what the- He is nervous. He is nervous. There are people right now who are being bombed to death in Palestine, and he is a white male in a car, and he is nervous. What the actual fuck? Hello? This can't be real life. What? <laughs> what? She literally just did the equivalent of like someone going, I'm hungry, and then someone responding to it, oh yeah, you know there's people starving in Africa. <laughs> like, oh, you're nervous? Well, did you know that people are dying in some other part of the world? This is our first contestant of the video. Get a load of this. Get a, get a, look at this. What even is that on top? The ingredient list is... What was that? That looked like some peas and carrots or something. It's insane. A venti iced chai tea with vanilla cold foam, oat... Oat milk, that's vegan! Okay, so for no apparent reason, now she's singing over a video of pears and bananas. A vegan world is coming, a vegan world is coming 
Is this like an unskippable ad? What What is this? Does she randomly have like video editing Tourette's and decides to add like a clip of her singing with bananas and fruits in the video like for no reason? Okay, I guess I'll just get ready to get jump scared by that. That is vegan! Good job! Excellent! Oat milk, it's not cow's milk, it's not stolen from innocent baby cows who's, who are murdered. Look at this dumbass block of tofu, bro. He thinks it's all fun and games. I'm gonna step on you, little bro. You're getting squashed. Of course it is. Taco Bell might be a sleeper. Their menu isn't that pricey. It's pretty affordable. However, you throw in some add-ons and things might get a little crazy. All right, what can I for you today? Can I get the most expensive item on the menu? I wouldn't know what that would be by heart. I think it would be the steak powerful. Okay, yeah. Steak, he just said yes to steak. No, that's a definite X. Don't uh, do that. Why are you promoting the murder of innocent animals? Those cows did nothing to you. So one of that vegan teacher's biggest catchphrases is that if you eat meat, you're promoting the murder of animals. And I think that word promoting is very interesting. You know, like if I do an ad read for Raid Shadow Legends, I'm promoting Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know if it's necessary necessarily promotion to eat things in order to not be hungry so you can continue to survive on a high energy level. I feel like it's only promotion if he's like, hey, go out and eat this thing that I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Do this. I'm promoting it, you know? Check the ingredients. Check the ingredients. Do it right away. If it's not vegan, back the fuck away. Don't buy any eggs, any dairy, or any meat instead. Go grab something vegan when you're thirsty or when you want to eat. Dude, again, like, no. Like, at what point do you stop? No means no, vegan teacher. I don't want to do veganism. I don't want to eat vegetables nonstop. I want my meat. It's, um, it's the bag award. You know, I think that's a pretty cool joke. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Okay, can we just skip through some of oh, this? Egg fries. Add seasoned rice. Oh, look at that. This is awful. A, a chicken. Poor innocent chickens. You know they live lifetimes of hell on factory farms. They are bred to be Frankenstein-like in shape. They can barely stand up. Their entire lives are suffering. And why would you be promoting this? Why are you not a nice gentleman who will talk about vegan food instead of this? I mean, fries are vegan. Why don't you focus on the things that are vegan and just leave the other, look at this, cheese. This is awful. Jalapeno peppers, those are vegan. Rice is vegan, seasoned, those are spices, those are vegan, but just leave out the other stuff. Okay, guacamole, that could be vegan, it's made with avocados, but we wanna make sure that there is no kind of sauce in there that comes from eggs or some milk, something like that, all right? Come on, you can do better. All right, so she spends this part of the video literally auditing Ryan Trahan's Taco Bell receipt like an IRS agent, going through every single purchase he made, making sure that it's uh, vegan friendly or whatever, which is, uh, dude, oh my God. If only you knew what fat people order when they walk in there, bro. Fat guy walks in there, he'll have like at least three slaughtered chickens on his plate. Go beef with those people. Go, well, don't beef with them. Uh, vegan with them. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's what's been up with that vegan teacher. Uh, I just wanted to make this video checking in on her channel making sure that she's doing well making sure she's happy and healthy but with that all being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at onto the channel follow my social medias links are all down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace